Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with make files. Our viewer has a simple make file that attempts to set environment variables using a source command, but it's running into an error. Let's dive into the details of this problem and see how we can resolve it together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. on. Let's address the issue you're facing with your make file. The error message indicates that the command source is not recognized in this context. In a makefile, each command runs in a separate shell instance. This means that environment variables set by source won't persist after the command finishes. To work around this, you can use the bash command to execute your script within the same shell. Modify your makefile like this. This change ensures that the script runs in a new bash shell, allowing the environment variables to be set correctly. Finally, remember to test your make file again by running make dev. This should now work without errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the no such file or directory error in your make file, try changing your directory to bin and then source the authenticate.sh script. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.